It's Platt, and today we try a beer from Hawaii. That's next to Platt's Beer of the Week. The uh, particular beer we have today is the Big Wave Golden Ale. Comes to us from Kona Brewing uh, from Hawaii. Uh, a little bit of back, background about Kona Brewing. It was uh, founded by a father and son duo in 1994. Um, they slowly built uh, the company out. Uh, started gaining some traction immediately. By 1998, they were able to build their first brew pub on the Big Island. Uh, I believe it was November of 98. And the legend just kept growing. Uh, they eventually opened a second location in, the, in uh, 2003 at the Coco Marina in Oahu. Uh, those of you not familiar with Hawaii, Oahu is where Honolulu's at. It's kind of where you fly into to get, then to get to wherever else on the island you wanted to go. But you generally fly into Oahu, Honolulu, and then you, go, you hop a smaller plane from there. Um, in 2008, they opened a third location at uh, the Honolulu International Airport. So when you get to town, if you land at the airport, you'll be able to pick up uh, some Kona brew there. Uh, the company continued to grow until 2010 when it was brought into or merged with something called the Craft Brew Alliance. What was the Craft Brew Alliance? It was an alliance of about four or four to five regional breweries that were getting larger but weren't big enough by themselves to necessarily go nationwide. So they kind of shared resources or whatever. Uh, breweries included uh, Widmer Brothers and Red Hook. And those two actually ended up brewing Kona here in here on the mainland for Kona Brewing and they were able to help them establish uh, natural national uh, distribution. Uh, and fortunately, kind of like a lot of other things, eventually they they uh, came under the InBev Anheuser Busch uh, umbrella. Uh, they were purchased uh, in 2019. One of the positive things, though, for them is those breweries now get access to the Anheuser Busch InBev uh, distribution system. Uh, that's a huge thing for breweries. Uh, well, I, I say that any alcoholic beverage producer, but really with breweries too, is just the distribution end of the business. So that, that was a big coup for them. I know a lot of people cringe when you get in bed and involved in something, but it, it would probably help the brewery, uh, again, reach areas they just wouldn't have on their own. Um, Kona Brewing uh, st really strives to stick to its Hawaiian culture and heritage. Uh, one of the things they do is locally source a lot of their ingredients, things like cocoa nibs, uh, lemongrass, uh, coffee that they use in their various beers. Uh, they're very proud about that. Uh, they have several year-round brews, uh, including the Longboard Island Lager, uh, the Castaways IPA, Firewalk Pale Ale, and Cocoa Brown Ale. And this, their flagship beer, is the Big Wave Golden Ale, originally called uh, Pacific Golden Ale, but now it's known as Big Wave Golden Ale. Well, before we try the Big Wave Golden Ale, let's check out the stats. So, with a beer like Big Wave Golden Ale, I thought today we would talk about surfing. Uh, if you go to Hawaii, surfing... It's probably the sport of Hawaii and definitely what a lot of people think of when they think of Hawaii. Uh, even though I'm built like a beach ball, I'm more of a beach bum. I just, I, I'm enamored with surfers and what they're able to do. I think it's impressive. I can't surf. I've done a little stand-up paddleboard, but I haven't done any surfing. But I'm just really enamored with, with surfing and what those guys do. So I thought today I would give you my five top surfing spots. Again, I'm not an actual surfer, but I respect the hell. Uh, what the guys do. Uh, number one is Pipeline on the North Shore of Oahu. Uh, I lucked out uh, a few years ago when I was in Hawaii. We got to go to the North Shore when they were having a the Pipeline uh, competition uh, in January or whatever, and it is, it's amazing what those guys do, and those big waves, just you could feel the power off the shore watching those guys on those waves hit. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. Uh, number two on the list, Waikiki Beach. Uh, Waikiki Beach is the tourist-friendly part of uh, Oahu. 
Uh, you've probably heard stories uh, that uh, there's some local spots where they don't like, uh, they'll refer to us as Howley's. Uh, they don't want the Howley's around. But Waikiki Beach is, is the tourist friendly uh, beach. And it also has gentle waves. It's a good spot for newbies to try. Uh, maybe next time I go down there, maybe I'll get aboard and give it another shot. Uh, but anyway, Waikiki Beach, a uh, great surf spot. Uh, number three on the list, the Gold Coast in Queensland, Australia. I, I have a ton of Australian regulars at the, at the bar I work at, and they're always telling me about Queensland and how beautiful it is down there. I, just a place I supposedly need to go, so definitely want to check that out. Uh, number four is Mavericks uh, off Half Moon Bay near the Bay Area, or San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, unfortunately, a few uh, well-known surfers have died there. It's a dangerous surf. But again, just the videos I've seen, and I, I hear again, if you go watch a surf, it's just, it's unbelievable, especially the size of the waves. Uh, and last but not least, uh, Tiopu. Hopefully I'm saying that right, in Tahiti. If you've ever seen Riding Giants with Laird Hamilton, that wave that's down there in just that setting, that is definitely on my bucket list to someday get down there. So enough talking about surfing. Let's try the big wave golden ale. All right. We got a nice finger of really nice foam. Nice head. Plenty of effervescence, a, a darker gold or co golden color, almost slight amber hint to it. All right. Um, the hops are, are right there on the nose when I first get it. Um, there's a little hop bitterness at the end. The finish is medium-ish, medium minus maybe. But the hops do linger just a hint. Uh, very drinkable. Body. You know, the, the, the good going down. Uh, this, again, refreshing enough beer. Something, again, you could drink on the beach. Um, I'm impressed with the hoppiness. It's not, it, it's not a lot, but it's just a nice, subtle... Hoppiness, you get a little bit. I caught it on the nose. We get it in the aroma. I get it in the finish. Um, yeah, just a nice complimentary hoppiness, I guess is the way I want to put it. Um, good enough malt body. Just a nice drinkable beer. Um, uh, compared to... I guess it's just more hop aggressive than the than the golden ale I, I tried last time. Um, there's a freshness to this beer also. I, I, I think it's a little bit of the effervescence, a little bit of the hops. Uh, overall, good beer though. Um, next time you're out catching a wave, why don't you catch a buzz with one of these too? Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe down below. Also, please like the video because it lets YouTube know we're putting out good content. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or beers that you would like me to try, please leave them in the comment section, or you can always contact me on the Twitter page. Well, until next time, bottoms up.